That takes us to tab seven of commissioner's public address. I'd like to remind the commissioners their time limit is limited to five minutes. We'll believe we'll begin with Commissioner Cupid. I will defer to my original placement to be at the end of the There is no comment. original placement. I, I called on the commissioners in order from left to right. This no, that's not evening. how it was done when we started Commissioner, this term. And this I'm going to call on you this once. Is, this is not the first time that I've deferred in the proper order. There is no proper order. It's how I call on you. It's how I call on the members of the board. So, no. Commissioner Cupid, do you have I any will comments? I will defer to the original order. What's the original order? When we started off with Commissioner Ott and then we went down this way, and I was um, the last per the last commissioner to pr provide several, my comments prior to you, Commissioner. For several months now, we've been mixing it up, and, and that's it's, why and it's based on my desire to call in a particular. I just commissioner. think, in light of all that's occurred okay, today, but I'm that calling you, Miss Commissioner Cupid. Do you have any comments yes, for yes, Commissioner I do. Public Address? Yes, I do, which I prefer to defer, and that's okay. If I'm not sure it with you, I'll be I'll be happy to share it after today's meeting. Mr. Burrow. Okay. Um, this is not the original order, but I realize there are some matters that's beyond um, my personal preference. I am calling for um, there to be light shown on an incident involving Officer Lawson on September 29th and September 30th, um, and that they pertain to a Mr. Malcolm Clarence and to a Omar Little. And I will. I think that needs to be thoroughly investigated by um, anybody who's willing to help thoroughly investigate that matter and to help bring that uh, matter to light. And I certainly hope that was in con county government's investigation of that officer, which we were expecting a report due of earlier this week. Um, I also want to um, reiterate some of the suggestions that were shared with respect to the um, well, let me just back up and just clarify some things that um, earlier this year the chairman did provide did re request to the media and to me at the same time that Commissioner Cupid provide information with respect to a citizen review board this is after all of the commissioners had commented to the media, inclusive of the chairman, that there was no need for, some, for one. So I did not take this suggestion with much seriousness, that I think it was done for more public fodder than it was for any serious consideration of that matter. I will back up and share that I've had, unfortunately, experiences on this board where have I looked for assistance from other commissioners in addressing other government-related matters, and um, I did not receive their support on it, and they were of much less controversy. So imagine me spinning, spinning my wheels to, um, to be a part of a, something which they've already shared their opinion on. A grievance board similar to, the, to what um, Commissioner Burrell said. She said she started an independent board in District 2 to help address the development, but I didn't. I did not hear that. Um, I did not hear that um, critiqued or mocked or ridiculed or um, or looked down upon by this board. I had decided to create a grievance board to address matters within the District for citizens, but yet some reason I should not do. I, I should not follow that same course of action that Commissioner Burrell took to be responsive to needs within her district. I think that's just only a tip of the iceberg of what I believe has been a double standard for me um, being on this board. I, um, I hate how things tur turned out today, but I want the citizens of District 4 to know that I have been serving diligently as your commissioner under very challenging circumstances and doing my best to work with the present board to do the wonderful things that we have done in the district. There are a number of projects that are going on. There um, are businesses moving in, and there's a lot more good things to come. But this has not been done without, um, with, this has not been done with the greatest ease on this board. But I'm praying that as more people from the district and throughout the county continue to observe the, um, the dynamics of this board, that they will help to bring some changes to the way that we operate so that we can have a healthy operating Cobb County. So, thank you. 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 Thank you.